Welcome back. It's now 613. Wells Fargo says it's fixed the issue that was preventing people's paychecks from being deposited, turning now to today's morning business report. And the government has sued Rite Aid, saying Rite Aid helped fuel the opioid crisis. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Jane. I went on Nicole. Good morning. Well, the Department of Justice has sued Rite Aid for alleged involvement in the opioid crisis. Now, the DOJ says Rite Aid unlawfully filled hundreds of thousands of prescriptions. Rite Aid declined to comment on that litigation. Well, Wells Fargo says the direct deposit issue is resolved and refunds will be issued. This issue emerged Friday when some customers found their expected deposits missing from their bank accounts. So the bank sent a note to customers that there was a technical glitch. They'll refund fund any kind of overdraft fees or any other uh, costs associated with that. And a man has sued Buffalo Wild Wings over boneless wings. The plaintiff claims the wing chain is falsely advertising its boneless wing products, which he says are more like chicken nuggets. Now on the website, Buffalo Wild Wings describes its boneless wings as juicy all-white chicken that are lightly breaded. Well, the mood definitely cheerier on Wall Street yesterday. No bank failures. There were concerns about the collapse still of Silicon Valley Bank and how that might spread. This morning, though, back down again. The Dow's pointing about 300 points lower, watching Credit Suisse and Europe under a lot of pressure. The stock's at an all-time low, and there's a worry about that bank. So European bank, but it is affecting U.S. Uh, markets. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back All to right. you. Jane, thanks so much.